tricks for the noxious swamp event. Yo dudes, welcome to the channel. We're gonna go through the event details and then huge tips and tricks for the noxious swamp event. I will leave timestamps below, so let's get into it without further ado. The noxious swamp event will take place Saturday, August 9th, 2023, 10 a.m to Tuesday, August 22nd, 8 p.m. your local time. Wild Encounters, Zubat, Venonat, Tentacle, Dratini, Surskit, Gulpin, Scorpi, Axu, Skrelp, Tyrant, Noiba. Skrelp being the brand new shiny that is debuting for this event. Raids, one star raids. We will have Grimer, Alolan Grimer, Hisuian Quillfish, and Hisuian Sneasel. Three star raids. We will have Galarian Weezing, Drudigan, and Turtonator. Turtonator is a shiny that was released maybe two months ago in an event. So in essence, it is a brand new shiny from the Alolan region that you definitely must have. Because right now, it is super rare. Shadow Raids, one star Shadow Raids. You will have Shadow Zuba, Shadow Hundor, and Shadow Pidov. Three star Shadow Raids. You will have Shadow Ninduran, female, Shadow Onyx, and Shadow Sneasel, where Shadow Ninduran and Shadow Sneasel can both be shiny. Bonuses for this event include two times catch candy, you will have one additional free raid pass per day from spinning gyms and photo discs, and team go rocket balloons appear more frequently. Field research task encounters, you will have Grimer, Dratini, Trapinch, Skrelp, Noibet, and Marion. There will also be a free timed research and where you will have a chance of getting an encounter with a Jang Mo O and other things. Okay dudes, let's get into some tips and tricks. So first we're gonna take a look at some PvP relevant Pokemon. In the world you have Dratini, which its stage two is Dragonite. Dragonite plays very well, ranking fourth overall in the Master League. A move set that you're gonna to wanna to go with here are Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Super Power. Now obviously given that it's the Master League, the best IVs you're looking for are Hundo IVs, and there is a cool way of getting a Hundo, but we'll cover that in a later tip. Next Pokemon in the world you're gonna to wanna to get is Axu. Axu stage two is Haxorus, and Haxorus has some play in the Great League, but its best play will be in the Master League, placing 27th with the move set, Counter, Breaking Swipe, and Night Slash. So there's no other really big Pokemon in the world. However, in raids, you have Yevitel and you have Xerneas. Now they've both got new moves, but Xerneas with this new move, Geomancy, plays really, really big in PvP, placing in fifth in the Master League, using the moveset, Geomancy, Close Combat, and Moonblast, Xerneas is becoming, or has become, an absolute beast. So if you're gonna be doing any raiding at all, you're gonna be using your passes, especially those two free passes, I recommend grinding this boy, maybe even get a Shundo. Now in order to get Pokemon ready for any league, you need candies, and this event has a bonus of two times catch candy, along with using either a pineapple berry or a silver pineapple berry. A regular pineapple berry will give you two extra candies, along with this will be four, and a silver pineapple berry will give you 2.34 extra candies, so that will be like 4.234. Now, I recommend saving the silver pineapple berry for your buddy, because if you use that in your buddy, it gets instantaneously straight out there on the map, and just using the regular pineapple berries, because the difference between two and 2.34 isn't very big. But, in order to max a Pokemon out, to level 50, you need things called XL candies. And in order to get XL candies, you need to catch Pokemon. And there are two huge ways of getting XL candies this event. The first one is you need to mega evolve a Pokemon. Now you can't mega evolve everything, but given that the event is about five days, you could mega evolve one Pokemon one day, grind those Pokemon, mega evolve the next day, grind those Pokemon. However, I think the most important Pokemons to grind, given what we spoke about in PvP, are the Dragon types. So Pokemon that you're going to want to evolve are either Charizard X, Garchomp, Salamence, Latias or Latios, and if you're super lucky, Mega Rayquaza will be really cool. If you don't know this, the base level, there are three levels that you have when you Mega Evolve. When you do your first Mega, you will get a base level, which will earn you one extra candy. After a certain amount of Megas, you will grow and you will get to the high level, which 
give you one extra candy, 50 XP and a 10% chance of XL candies. And if you have a max level, you'll get two extra candies, 100 XP extra and a 25% chance of an XL candy. But that's not the only way to get XL candies. There is another way. And it's now one of my favorite things to do in Pokemon Go, like easily. And that is trading. Dudes, trading with the Hidden Gems event, you get two candies and one guaranteed XL candy. So what you're gonna wanna do is get out, catch all your Dratinis, catch all your Axus, catch all your Tyrants, whichever Pokemon you want, find a friend, get an alt account, and do your 100 trades a day. There's also two special trades each day, which I recommend that you definitely take advantage of because one, there is nothing better than a lucky Pokemon, and two, there is nothing better than a lucky Hundo Shundo Pokemon. So so dudes, definitely, definitely start trading. And honestly, I thought it was like really boring, but once you start doing it, it's, it's quite addictive and just super, super awesome. So when you're catching ones, don't transfer them, trade them, trade them. And the last thing we're gonna to wanna to look at, which is really important, and these are medals. In order to get to level 50, if you're already on level 50, you can you can leave now, subscribe. In order to get to level 50, you need 35 platinum medals to go from level 49 to level 50. And between from level 40 to level 50, you need at least 10 platinum medals for one, 20 platinum medals for another, and eventually 35 platinum medals to go from 49 to 50. Now the easiest platinum medals to get are the 18 typing medals that we have because all you have to do is catch Pokemon and once you hit 2,000 catches of that typing, you're given a platinum medal. It could not be easier. However, there are at least four difficult medals in this category and one of them has a type spawning that we need to take advantage of. So, out of the 18 medals that are there, you can see that I've got 13 of them, and the hardest for me personally being fighting type, ghost type, metal, ice, and dragon. Now, ice and dragon being super hard and rare to get, and we've got three boys spawning in the wild this event. You've got your Axu, Dratini, and Tyrant. Also, in raids, you have Drudagon and Turtonator, so there is really no excuse for you here. You've got to get out and you got to get that dragon medal and I super duper de duper recommend it because I believe after this event and after Go Fest with Mega Rayquaza we will not see a dragon type again until maybe earliest January or February because we're coming into a new season and in that new season you have Halloween and Christmas which means we're probably going to have ghost types, poison types, psychic types, fairy types and ice types predominantly over any other typing and this is such a hard metal to get. So I would get out there and I would grind it and all you gotta do is just catch and do every other tip that I'm saying and you're literally owning Pokemon Go. Well dudes, that's everything for today. If you like the content, do hit that sub. Do check out the last video because it's just so good and I will talk to you real soon in the next one. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Peace and love.